Now, this is not a video to compare. I'm not saying YouTuber versus filmmakers. I am trying to promote the idea that these are one and should be one because I think that's where we're going to. Let's talk about it coming up. This is rather a sensitive topic to handle, uh, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna take the risk and I hope that uh, I can reach more of the people who understand than those who don't. Here's where, where this whole thing started in my head. You know, when I, when I hear on YouTube, I watch a lot of content, you know, and I, as most of you, um, I believe that um, video creators, uh, content creators, watch a lot of content. You know, I've come to learn to avoid negative statements and negative, um, you know, things that would kind of, you know, send you in the wrong direction, give you the wrong vibe, you know, because where we're trying to go, where we're trying to go, it's, it's, it's not easy to get there. To so every string that we try to pull you back, we need to get rid of. Okay, let me try and t attempt a general definition for both parties first of all. I would say in general, a YouTuber is probably a video content creator for YouTube, right? And a filmmaker, actual filmmaker, is a content creator, so to say, who makes video production for TV or the cinema, all right? Question is, where is TV today? And where is TV going? And where's the future of TV? Another question will be, where is cinema today? What's the future of cinema? Can you answer these questions for sure? Now, one thing I can tell you is that the future of YouTube or other online platforms, not just YouTube, anyone that may decide to stick his head up, has got game going, okay? We all know that we, I mean, things have, things have changed, things are changing. Um, I, had this in, I had this in my head way before um, this COVID-19 attack, but um, now it's become so crucial to address these issues and get people, you know, thinking in the right direction, steer the ship in the right direction because it looks like I'm on the ship as well. So if I keep quiet, I'll sail with the ship because I really don't have a voice. I don't, I really don't have that much voice here to tell the captain, hey, this is what you should be doing. So, but if I can spread the word to one and to the other and to another and to another and probably the the word gets out to the captain, he might steer, up, steer the ship in the direction that it should be going. I hope you understand my analogy. The bottom line is YouTube is gaining grounds and is, is becoming it's breaking grounds, breaking boundaries, and it's paying off more than you think. It's a big machine that you could harness only when you are big, you know? So when you start small and grow big, you are, you are playing the game <laughs> right, you know? If you hope to be big one day, then you're fine. If you think you'll never grow, all right, that's on you. YouTube may not always be slow. From, the, from all that they are doing right now, they are trying hard to make it even, you know, it looks like YouTube keep wanting to make it more um, realistic for more people to, you know, make a real living out of YouTube, you know. They just got down to eight minutes of, um, instead of 10 minutes for multiple, commercials or adverts now embrace it uh, especially the viewers you know if you have a favorite youtuber you should um, 
let it play. Watch the unless the content are not for you because YouTube has the algorithm to know what you like to watch and they give you those adverts, you know. But once in a while it may be off. And those those are the ones for me, I skip because like BNH. I love to watch that advert over and over again. So when it, whenever I get the chance, chance I see it, I'm watching it. And I'm learning, even as a filmmaker and as a content creator, I learn from those stuff. And then you keep watching those things, you notice what you never noticed before. Anyway, that's by the way, I'm just trying to tell you that YouTube is ready. They are doing their part. But are we doing our part? I don't, I don't think we are getting the you know the best of it um a single is just like a football team you know no matter how skilled a player is he's just one player without a team making the game it's not organized it doesn't look organized and it's hard to get the respect of the organized world and i know a lot of us are trying to get the attention of corporate bodies, sponsors, endorsements, especially. You know, you can't keep, you can call on, it can happen, it can happen, but I've got, I've got a topic for that, what we should be doing. But right now, it's about getting the right mindset. You know, this filmmaker series, uh, filmmaker, YouTuber series, you know, I'm hoping one day we have to be, it will only have to be the filmmaker series, you know, because will become one and that's what I want that's my dream and that's where it should be going that's where it's naturally going unless we are trying to fight fight it or slow it down I permit me to define a youtuber in my own definition I have defined the general definition now I want to define in my my head what's the difference the youtuber you know, now there are levels of YouTube, YouTubers, there are levels, but it all comes to the same thing. Now, beginner YouTubers, it comes to the same thing. The more YouTubers spring up, they grow. They say they are not, they are just YouTubers and they grow into filmmakers. That is how it should be naturally. It might take you some time, some five, some 10 years, some three years, some two years, depending on your dream your, and your desire, you could get to being that YouTuber that we are talking about. So, you know, you may be a beginner YouTuber, you may be an intermediate YouTuber, you may be a pro YouTuber, but we are coming to the same point. And when, when you get to this point, you join in the Filmmakers Club. And let me explain to you what I mean. The difference between a filmmaker and a YouTuber, in my definition, is a dream or a vision. A YouTuber with a vision is a filmmaker. Now, you may have other dreams, you may have stuff like that, but as you develop in, in the video content creation, see, let me tell you something. Funny enough, I think everybody has a story. I think everybody should be able to tell their story. I think every story is worth telling. I think some people may tell your story for you, but if you got the skills, you may be able to tell your story for yourself. I think the world would be a better place if we all tell our stories. I think, I think God created everybody to be filmmakers, or at least storytellers. If we give everybody a chance, we all have a story to tell. And I think everyone will learn from everyone's story. So the more people we give the opportunity to tell their stories, the better. Now, like I said, not everybody will be able to tell their stories. Some of us will listen and watch and see you leave your stories and we'll tell it for you. You're talking about cameras, right? 
you use your cameras and you put your cameras in front of you you set up the light you set up the stands and um, some of you use sliders now even the beauticians to make up you have the cameras that auto focuses and stuff some of you even some of these beauticians they even make the manual focus on, on, the, on themselves on their own they know when it's red when it's in focus they had someone who would do this for them over time but over time they learned because at some point in time you may want to document your journey. You are a filmmaker, you are a content creator, you are doing it for, for today's television, the YouTube community or the online community. We don't know who else will join. There's Facebook, there's um, Instagram, there's um, Tweak, uh, TikTok, you know, and the list goes on. And there's going to be more. Some There's going to be more. We don't know what the TV stations are going to switch into. <laughs> you don't know what they're going to do. They already have already have online platforms that are on the low low, but if they have to, they are going to launch at it. I don't think YouTube will be the only giant for forever. I think they are going to have their competition eventually. Everyone is going to dive into that same path, you know. I don't know how long YouTube will be king. Maybe they'll be king forever, but they are going to get healthy, healthy competition in the nearest future. But for now, we are on the biggest planet on Earth. Okay? Harness it. There are many things you can do with the opportunity you got with this audience. I'll just put, I have a lot to say. I want to wrap this up. I believe I've said, uh, I've made a foundation for what to expect. I believe that we are wasting the, the opportunities that we have. We have, especially the big channels, um, what really inspired this whole filmmaker series, YouTuber filmmaker series, is the fact that we keep saying, I'm gonna say we, even though I don't say it, but I have to identify, if they point a finger at us, it is us, right? So we say, we keep saying, oh, that's not for us. That camera, whoa, it's too big. It's for high end. It's not for us. I agree it is expensive. I, I agree it is hard to get. But don't keep belittling yourself. I don't think we have much time to play around. I think we need to be focused to be able to make something happen. Now, I'm going to wrap it up there, but just know that You only you can limit yourself. Do not. I think you have the ability to do more than you know. Join me on the next episode of the YouTuber Filmmaker series and I'll break it down for you what you are missing out on, what you could be doing, how much richer you could be if you apply these little principles I'm going to show you especially you youtubers with the skills right now thank you guys for watching i remain ala godwin uh, like comment feedback i will appreciate that and let the conversation continue down in the description as always like subscribe see you in the next video bye